Hey everyone, welcome back to Halt and Make Fest. We are here and we have our fabulous guest with us today. We have, uh, oh yeah, I should introduce myself first. <laughs> I'm Sean sure from Make or Create. Uh, and joined with us today, we have Kaz, who is from, well, from everywhere, from Liverpool Make Fest, from uh, Spark Penkforth, from just being an amazing maker oh. uh, and yeah, everything else. And we're gonna, we're gonna have loads of time to have a chat about you and all your different roles and the things that you do. And we're gonna be looking at Idea Award. Just before we jump in, let's have a look at the rest of the team that we have with us today. We have, oh, on the comments, we have Paul today. Hey Paul, how's it going? Fantastic. So if you have any questions today about what we're doing, you want to ask them to us, to Caroline, about Ideas Award, about Makefest, anything, just get them in on the comment section on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or wherever yeah. you're watching. Uh, and we'll have a chat and we'll do our best to answer them. We have Ian, who is controlling all our buttons and cameras today. So if anything goes wrong technically, he is who we point the finger at and, and blame. Uh, and, and running around, uh, we have Andrew O'Brien, who is going to be our run and gun camera operator today, frantically trying to stay two meters away from everyone while still getting good shots. Hey, Andy, hope you are all right as well. Cool. All right. So. Uh, on to Caroline. So Caroline, yeah, as we just said, maker, teacher. Yeah. Uh, What's make going best, on? <laughs> make founder. Uh, um, yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? This is an incredible setup, guys. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. I'm thrilled to be here. Absolutely thrilled. And I'm really pleased to see Holton have their Make Fest, and it, it runs so differently. We were just chatting then, weren't we, about this year is is Holton's second year. Yeah which is a big year, your second year of Makefest. And um, we're on our anniversary of something like our fifth, sixth in Liverpool for, for the one I founded. And um, we were just saying then, the first year you did this incredible event at like a library that was just amazing. And then the second year you've had to do it completely differently, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, the plans up in the air. Um, pretty, I would normally say as usual, to be honest with you, for me, oh, yeah, the, the yeah, changing around and things like that. But yeah, completely different this time. We were really happy that we still managed to get the library and they were with us yesterday and they did some of this fantastic book art that I've got in front of me. And it some, looks uh, amazing. Some, some origami, so managed to, the library's still a, a massive part of it. Uh, um, but unfortunately, uh, unable to, to, to use the venue for the, for the live stream. But yeah, completely changed, completely different live streaming this time. Hopefully, oh, we were saying uh, we got people yesterday from Germany and Canada. And oh, Paul, can you remember any of the other places that we had people coming uh, from? All of the UK. Uh, Wigan. We got one from Wigan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> London, uh, Gloucester. Um, I'm sure we did have somebody uh, on one of them from America as well. Fantastic. Oh, that's brilliant like news! So, Absolutely brilliant. So cool. So we're using it as a bit of a, a bit of getting that silver lining, kind of going uh, and and helping people from the local area makers kind of get out there and broadcast themselves, yeah, around the world. Um, so when I think we've known each other for years now, and I'm trying to think what it would have been. I think I possibly just had seen you on Twitter from one thing or another. We are kind of oh, around God, the same circles. Long, that makes me feel really old. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> but yeah. uh, but we, we've we been involved. Uh, I don't think we actually were involved in the first Liverpool Main Fest, but we've been involved for years now, going back and doing you were uh, you were involved in the second, second I believe, one, yeah, 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 second year. So our first year, we we just didn't think was going to be very big. Uh, I, you know, um, me, Denise Jones at Liverpool Library, and, and Dr. Mark Felton from Liverpool John Moores set up the first one, and we thought, oh, it's not going to be that big. And then it, it turned into this huge event where everybody wanted to come. So by the second year, we'd expanded to like five floors of a library. So uh, at that point, I think we kind of tapped out to reach a wider area. But this is what I absolutely love, that, that Makefests have their own community of makers in their own town. So, you know, having a Holton that's run by a team at Holton is just absolutely perfect for us. So we really want other people to run them. Um, and other people to set up their own for their own hometown and, and you know you guys are the Holton team yeah. and I absolutely love it so you know we it's really nice to be part of it when I do get to go to ones that aren't the Liverpool one because because that's quite a quite a 
big one, um, although we're stealing probably a whole bunch of ideas from <laughs> you guys as to how we're going to do this if we do it online this it year. Is, it is very different, the difference yeah. between um, running one and the difference between making one at Real, Real from We've been involved in the Liverpool one, we've been at a Chester one, we've been at one in Manchester as well, uh, getting about doing them. When you're in running them, doing your own activity, it's so manic, you know, you're, you're getting, getting it done. Uh, and when you're, um, when you're organising one, completely different. Again, I think my job last year, pretty much just to walk around and just make sure that everyone is okay i just i think i just was going are you okay do you yeah. need a brew can i get you something you do yeah. have that really weird moment at a make fest where it feels really really stressful when you're trying to set it up like incredibly intense because there's lots of moving parts in it and then you have this really weird moment of on the day it's just like oh i just get to stand back and it's just beautiful yeah and then, and then you collapse in a heap so i'm hoping that this one's maybe been a, a different type but trying to move from a huge big event to then an online event is just is is quite a task guys hats off it, it's had its challenges but we've been really happy with how it's been going so far so and i was yeah. hoping today i'd bring something to to make fest that's very much part of of our make fest and the, the make fest family which is the ideas award so I, I figured i'd bring something that was very much um a part of ours um, and, and now a part of Holton's yeah, yeah. that is um, looking at the Ideas Awards and how to get them and how to get badges and how to get a really good certificate for, for showing off your digital skills and making sure that you can demonstrate all of the cool things you can do online. That's great. I mean, I'm a massive fan of the Ideas Award. For, for anyone that's, that's not heard of the Ideas Award, do you want to sum it up in a nutshell what it, what it is, what oh. you can do with it? Oh, the Ideas Award, in a nutshell, it's kind of like the digital version of a Duke of Edinburgh Award. So it's, it's, the, it's a, a badge system that showcases your digital skills and you can gain badges, but the badges are created very much by leaders in their field. So mm -hmm. there's a Raspberry Pi badge in there, by Raspberry Pi, there's coding badges in there, and there's ones by Barclays in there. So the, they're created by teams and then they're put on there so you can go through a little tiny mini badge course and then you gain your badge. If you get 250 points in a bronze, you get a bronze award. So that gets sent to you from Buckingham Palace and then you can get a silver as well the gold's coming soon um, and you can go through the process and you can download your record of achievement you can print it out for workplaces but it's just really fun yeah you know it's super fun i i, I it's no secret i you know already but i have got my bronze award i've i've had a go i've gone on the and i think one of my favorite things about it is there's different types of badges and each learner can kind of choose what they want to do so it's not like oh you have to do all just these courses and then you, everyone does the same thing and then they get the bronze someone that's really into gaming might do a lot more gaming badges someone that's really into entrepreneurship might be going down that route and there's lots of other different badges so i'll tell you what rather than us just talking about it, should we should we dive in and have a look at yeah. it and, and, uh, should we have a good nose yeah. so uh, you know if you if you follow in this at home and you're trying to look at it so first thing you want to do is you know you might want to split screen us or you might want to get a phone or you can just follow with with my voice if you need to but you want to go to google and type in the ideas award so you're looking for idea.org.uk uh, i think our little mako team will stick that up for you right now it's on our logo if you need it but when you get to it this is kind of what you'll see so there's uh, mini courses in all kinds. Um, if you already have an account, then you can just log in. But if you do need to, you can just click sign up. So if you're signing up and this is the first time you're doing it, um, you want to pick a nickname for you. So just any kind of nickname that you want. So you can get that down. You want to stick in your date of birth and then you want to stick in your email. For your email guys, if you're a little younger, you know, you can ask your mum and dad for their email. Um, you can, if you're a little older, you can use your own email. Um, if you've got a school email, you can use that email. Schools quite often are really keen on doing the Ideas Award and they can get the uh, certificates like our school at Penketh does delivered to their school. Um, so stick in your email there, your country. Then you want a password. When you're using passwords, just remember eight characters, one symbol, one number. So it's got a little hint there for you and then just confirm your password, agree to your terms and conditions, and sign in. It's just like any other website really, isn't it? Most websites where you need to sign up with uh, emails and passwords. I 
forgot my password <laughs> this morning when I went to log into it. And just like any other website, I just hit that forgot password and they sent it through via email and things like that. So there's yeah. a great kind of system behind there that if you've logged in, you might have tried this a year or so ago and then forgotten your password or you know six months ago, if you're anything like me. And, and you know, yeah. there's millions of different passwords out there. Something that just to kind of point out is you're using a, a computer today to do it. Yes. I'm using, I'm going to be trying to follow along using an iPad, but yeah. you can also do it on your, on your phone as well and things like that. So yeah, all, you can. All, all you need is a, an internet connection, isn't it, really, to be able to get yeah, started you with can it. do all of your badges, whether it be on a phone, on a pad, pretty much any. As long as you've got an internet connection, you can access it. Quite a lot of the time, I like to do my badges, especially on my phone. If I've got five minutes, I'll stop and do a badge. So you can, you can do them anywhere, so that's really good. So just log yourself in and hopefully all of you are logged in now. So I'm gonna log in as me, so you can have a good look. So I, obviously being a really attentive teacher, I've got a lot of my badges, so I thought, I'd, um, being one of the teacher's ambassadors, I thought I'd talk you through it. So when you get in, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this, that says getting started and a quick tutorial on how ideas works. So once you're in, you can kind of get this, and you can go through the tutorial that you've got if you want, so you've got, there's a badge, this is what one badge looks like. So this one's for the user interface badge. So you can kind of have a look at this badge and then learn digital and enterprise skills. Then we've got, you know, how the badges are good to set you up for the success in the world of work and how they monitor the badge as you go through so you can get your bronze and your silver awards. And there's the key number, 250 points to win a bronze. Come on. So if you look at mine, you'll see I've got 91 in citizen, 72 in worker, 58 in maker, 72 in entrepreneur. Now you need 50 in each category to get a bronze award. So I did a bit more citizen than I did entrepreneur. And I'll talk to you a bit about what those badges actually mean. You've got more than me. I've, I, and I, then, I've just scraped through on mine. I've got, I've got 50 on citizen, uh, 50, sorry, 51 on citizen, 50 on worker, 58 on maker, and oh. 51 on entrepreneur. I had just, I mean, just the, the bare about minimum that I could to get, to get through. I think on mine. Yeah. I think, so, uh, I think one of those being a teaching ambassador, I kind of want to, you want to know each yeah. badge inside out. So if you, if you are doing the badges and you do have a problem and you do think to yourself, oh, I can't get past this badge, and you do need help, you, mm. my contact details with Mako um, so you can contact them and you can say to me how do I do this badge so I know a lot of the badges quite well um, so this one your first one down on the bottom your citizen badge this one's kind of all those digital ethics kinds of things the things that make us better people online you know and e-safety uh, lots of awareness badges so they're really really good ones to make it a better place online for everybody um, and better citizenship and then we've got worker badges the, these green ones these are ones that are skills that are used specifically in the workplace. Lots of industry four skills, so they make it really, really cool for you to, you know, showcase your learning, especially when you're trying to get things like, you know, apprenticeships or jobs or just work experience. You know, I wanna, I wanna work a little, so you can do that. We're all working a lot online nowadays, so being able to demonstrate that's really good. Um, you've got my favorite, the Make a Batch. These are all the digital creative ones. So these are all the really creative badges and how to build and make things, how to lots of coding badges in there. And that's, a, that's the one I've got the most on. Have yeah, you really? Yeah, that's the one I was, I, I, I went <laughs> Why on is that yeah. not a surprise yeah. that you're making your badge you've got most in there? Um, and entrepreneurial badges, ones that are very business led. So you can kind of come soon. And then when you press finish, you get this. So this is the bronze. So if you click up top, you've got the bronze and the silver. So we're going to look at the bronze first. So if you roll down a little, you can kind of get to these citizen badges. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll down a little, if I can. Uh, two fingers on the trackpad. Oh, uh, this is Caroline not and, being and able to... towards yourself. Uh, Kaz is, is, is working through, through my laptop today. I am so working on a, a I'm working on a Mac. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm normally <laughs> Windows because <laughs> Aura Linux. Yeah, so so this has been interesting. If you pop two fingers on the trackpad at the same time. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, and then just drag towards yourself. It'll, it should go down. Oh, here we go. There so go. let's go. Yeah. Let's try this. Caroline Everyone's learning to use digital skills. That's what we're here to do today. Yeah. Learning new digital skills today, Kaz. Actually, you know what? I nearly had it then. And this is so hard, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. No, we there. I oh. might have it. Let's try this again. 
oh, I've logged myself out. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, oh no, I've got it. Right, you've okay. got it. Two fingers. Two and then fingers. Scroll and then down. Scroll down or up. I can't remember which way it is now. <laughs> or up. You know, when you're just going to get used to uh, doing it, won't, you just don't think <laughs> Why about it. Why don't you just it? go into the badges category? Kind of like, <laughs> Make it yeah, easier. There you go. So if you drop down into the citizen badges here, you can see that we have got quite a lot of badges there. So there's the citizen badges, there's worker badges. So these are some of the badges that we've got. So things like digital ethics or data play or cyber spies or brain hack. You'll notice there's one of them that's gamer badges. That's nice. So gamer badges, the, you can only find them on, if you click on the badge section. And I really love them. They're like a secret section of the Ideas Award where they have gamer badges in there where you can make a game or you I, can design a game. I've got, I've got one, two, three, I've got four to five of those done. So have I obviously liked, I, I like them ones. Yeah, yeah, oh man, I've, I've completed. I've completed four of the five of them ones. Yeah, yeah I, and we I really do, like them ones. There's lots for uh, entrepreneurial badges, so we've got them as well. So these are the kind of badges you can get. Each one of them represents like a different area of where a badge is, so you can kind of like have a look at different badges that you want to do. And we're going to go through a badge today. Um, I figured we'd go and have a look at a badge and see what kind of badges we could do together if you wanted. Fantastic. I'll tell you what though, just before we jump into that, we've actually got as well, uh, as well as going through this with us today and, and going through a badge, with, as well as that, as part of being part of this stream, you can also get a badge uh, for, yeah, for just tuning in. So at the end of this stream, we're going to be letting you know all about our Holton Makefest badge, which the Ideas Award team have set up specifically for this event. So at the end of this, uh, this um, stream as well as doing the uh, doing the badges with us you'll also get a badge completely for free uh, just for tuning in and being part of this so we have uh, an ideas award for for the hot make fest and we there's also one for liverpool make fest but we'll get onto there, that in a little bit won't we there is there's one for liverpool make fest that we give out at our make fest so uh, i think i've got a, a liverpool make fest badge Fantastic. so uh, there will be one later on in the year um, but you can kind of uh, collect your MakeFest badges as you go around. So um, we're going to have a, a kind of look at a badge. Perfect. But before we do, you've got all these badges. I figured we'd pick one that would be relatively interesting to do, especially for two makers like us. Perfect. Let's, so let's I through. thought maybe what we could do is do an animation badge. Great. So if I kind of get to grips with my mouseage. <laughs> <laughs> it is like this moment where Caroline's totally learning a new skill. Oh, look, I've go. got it, I've there got it, I've got go. it. <laughs> right, okay. Let's get it. <laughs> so, it, I figured we'd go for our animation badge. So, if you click on the maker badge in your box, so it should be the orange one, mm -hmm. and then click on animation. You should get to this screen, but yours will say, do the badge to start instead of redo the badge. Yeah, I've and done this one, so I'm getting redo badge as well. But that's, that's, a, that's a really nice thing, though, as well. So I've done these probably about a year or so ago now. So mm. uh, there are some really good skills that you can pick up as you're going through it. So just because you've done a badge doesn't mean you might not want to redo a badge to get a little bit more knowledge, to refresh yourself about it as well, and things like that. And I think that's a really nice feature that they've got as part of Ideas Award. It's not just like you've done it and that's it. You don't have to think about it again. If you wanted to redo it, relearn it uh, as you're going through it, just redo the badge and have a go at doing it again. Yeah, and you've got like 10 points on this badge. So this one's a way to get to grips with animation tips and tricks. So you can click redo the badge and then suddenly you're in the badge zone that then you can walk through and do your badge. So you'll have this moment now where you'll get a digital animation ideas award bronze badge and then you can get started. So all of the badges look similar. A few simple ways to, to deal with this when you do do the badge. One of the things that I can absolutely say having done hundreds of badges with lots and lots of children is read the instructions. Guys, definitely read the instructions. <laughs> so as you go through, you can see Animation everywhere in the digital world. Um, we're going to look at all sorts of cool areas such as web designs, apps, movies, TV shows. And this badge helps us play with some of the basic context for these techniques. So then you click in Next. So this is the bit that tells us about what we're going to learn in this badge. It's going to be how to give our character a walk cycle, um, frame rates and effects and the look and feel of animation, how to apply animation to UX, which is up and coming, guys, if you've not no, don't know a bit about UX, it's really interesting. There's a badge on that as well. Um, design in apps and how some of these animation principles can be applied. And next thing you know, 
I'm into it and I'm, I'm working with my superhero. Are you a your superhero? Yeah, I'm, I've got, on my screen, I've got, let's start with our superhero here oh. uh, and the next box. Here. Are you so ready? Because now we're going to put some moves on our superhero. Fantastic. We, we love animation here at Mako. It's one of our favorite workshops to deliver. I'm sure we might have some people watching that have uh, been on some of our animation courses in the past. And exactly like you were saying there, one of our favorite things about it is it's just used in so many different areas oh, now. God, yeah. Long gone are the days where uh, only an animator would use animation. You know, it's used in everything from marketing to you know promotions, uh, you know internal user user interfaces. You know, there's so many spaces and places that animation is used, and it's great to have that knowledge of how it all works. It's it's massive animation, and to be honest, it, I find um, that we you just don't think that animation's used so much mm. like that. But a lot of the fundamental skills underneath animation, things like CAD, computer aided design, are used in incredible amounts of of, um, of technology and things that we see day to day now mm. from architecture to engineering. So, you know, the animations are really, really cool one to get into. Um, and if you look, you're gonna have this moment where I, I'm gonna learn a bit because I think I've forgotten my badge. So I'm gonna, we've got a, a follow pattern of contact, recall, passing and high point on his legs. Look at legs walking closely. <laughs> so when we click, we're gonna try and construct that for ourselves. So. Now I've got to drag each of these frames one by one to see and get my animation to work. So if you look at the other side, you can see they've told us which is contact recall, passing and high point. So I need to pull it together to make him walk. Now there's a really nice thing about ideas is that I'm gonna try and put some of these in the places that I think maybe they can look if I look really closely. And sometimes you can go, I kind of think that's right but then it pulls it out and it tells you that you've got it wrong, which is really nice because sometimes you're kind of a bit like, did I do this right? But it really corrects you really quickly. So you can pull them in and if you've got it wrong, it'll pull one out. And when you get it right, it'll say, yep, you've got that perfect. So I'm gonna try and attempt this. It, I, I always take a while on it. No, not quite right. So I've got two in the right place. What about you, Sean? I felt like there was a lot of pressure on me to get it right. So I, I didn't mess about. I just went straight in and just smashed it. I was like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want the trolls on the, on, the, on the comments. I couldn't handle Paul's, Paul, Paul's comments coming back yet. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I, I'm all about getting it wrong. So <laughs> I, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'll try and get this wrong and then I'll see. You know, so yeah, now we've got three. So let's try and, you want to try and help me with this? It, it's, it's like, I think it's there, isn't it? And um, then maybe here. I'm squinting looking at your screen and on our, on our, on our oh, no, preview. Other way around. I can just see two little legs to be honest with you from, from, hey, from here. There right, you go. there we go. I managed to get me walk down. So when you've done a task, it's gonna ask you a little question at the end. So uh, uh, how would you best describe the use of frames in animation? So we've got three questions. Um, what, what are you going for? I think I'm going for number one. They play one after the other to give the appearance of movement. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good description. Oh yeah, so okay, give that I'm, a click. I'm good. What's really nice is is seeing obviously you're you're working with with a mouse, you know, to click and drag on a, on a touch screen. It's great. You just put your finger on and drag it around. They've done a really good job of yeah. making it usable on on every device um, as uh, to uh, to kind of to get. Oh, I've got my nice one on correct. So you got one correct. One. Yeah, so fantastic. everybody who's following, I'm hoping you're getting one correct, or you're probably more ahead than we are. <laughs> so. I tell you what, that might actually be a, a nice point just to see, uh, Paul, have we had any questions through or anything like that from anyone or anyone struggling with anything that, that we could give advice about or is everyone doing all right in the comments and stuff? I think everyone's doing all right. We're not getting any questions through just yet. Oh, right. If there's Fantastic. absolute silence, it probably means everybody's well invested in that. <laughs> yeah, so. I always take silence as a good sign. Yeah, so, uh, but just a reminder then, if you uh, have got any questions or you're struggling with anything, just throw it in there, Paul will, uh, will jump in and interrupt us and things like that. If, if you've got any questions or anything mm -hmm. like that, that's what we're here to do today. Uh, if you're smashing it and it's all going great, don't worry, carry on going. Yeah, work your way through it with us. When you get to the end of that badge, let us know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let us know. Have you, yeah, if you succeeded, have you got the points? 10 points for this badge. Quite Ten a good, points. nice, nice haul that. For, so yeah. we're going to try and make him fly now about frame rates. So you can kind of, I'm going to start with the frame rates. So we can change the slider to alter the frame rates. So if I press play now, he kind of jumps but he's a bit sticky, isn't he? 
So it says, was my animation a bit jagged? Maybe I should increase that frame weight. Okay, so let's try and make it a bit faster. Oh, oh look, oh, my superhero nice is bit. flying and nice and smooth now. Excellent. Ooh. So now we've played with a little frame weight, it's going to ask me another one of those little questions. So what, ah. after playing with the frame weight, which do you think makes the most sense? More frames make smoother animation or fewer frames make smoother animation? <laughs> Just, uh, just so people know, on mine, then I was trying to drag it around uh, like on, on the screen. All you need to do is, if you're on a, on a touch screen, just uh, all you need to do is just touch where you want it to go. You don't kind of drag the frame around. You just touch no, where you want it to go. So I was, I was trying to drag it around going, oh, it's not Both working as well. Both of us are learning new skills today. I, wasn't, I just wasn't using it. Use yeah. mouse, and you're learning yeah. how to use a touch. This is how to use a touch screen. Yeah, you just touch <laughs> where you want it to go. <laughs> so I'm going to go with um, frames meet smooth animation. Yes, okay, I made it to the third level here. So now my busy superhero, like the rest of us, uses apps all day. Yep, so he's using his phone, he's got things to do. So he's got a message, but it's really static, so he didn't notice. So all of us probably who use phones know that we can see our little notifications, how they bing up and how they get our attention. That's animation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to use a bit of user experience design, how you experience the design of our, uh, of our object to make it better. And we're going to add some animation into his apps. So I've got four types. I could make it bounce. I could make it zoom in and out. I can make it a, a bit of an elastic back and two, or I can make it smooth. So I'm going to go for elastic. What are you going to go for? I think I'm going to go uh, bounce. I'm going to give bounce a go. Ooh. Let's so see. elastic tells me that Think about this and why this one might get its attention in the situation. Okay, so maybe elastic's not a good one to do. Maybe a zoom. No. So which one are we gonna go for? Maybe a bounce. Oh, okay, so now I've used a bounce. You can probably see it bouncing up and down. It becomes really obvious that that's what we see all the time when we go into our emails, this little bounce animation. Mm. So that's kind of cool that, so. Yeah, every time I open an app on the on the little bottom of the screen, you just see it bouncing up and down, don't you? It's so, so funny. There's so many little bits of animation yeah. like that that you don't even they just become so part of your life yeah, and things you see. Thought. You don't think about it. Yeah. So we've got animation. Why would I want to use animation? It looks more attractive. It helps draw focus to something that could be interactive with. It feels more interesting. I think it helps you focus. Oh, look at that! I'm I'm on to the next level. <laughs> I feel this is an interesting one, this question, because I was like, um, I feel like it could, it could do so many of those that, you know, with, with, yeah. with, with the answer of it, yeah. Um, so, uh, so we've got another one now where now we've got into the, the actual um, email that our superhero's got. We want to think about how he's got the message. How would that best work on the phone? So we want to give him feedback that they've pressed it. So now, now I think maybe a Zoom would be good. Yeah, that idea of it kind because of like Because it could getting, zoom into the message? Yeah, yeah, like it's like kind of opening it. Like oh, a, yes. And so Netflix is what, the one that's screaming to my mind with that one. With, with uh, if you, I don't know if anyone, I'm sure some people, you, you all have Netflix when you load it up, that end seems to kind of like yeah, zoom the out the screen. Yeah, the end bounces back and two. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got that, we've got this transition. Why do we think this is useful? Helps them focus on the content, helps show them the link between the button they've pressed and the content they've accessed. So I think it, it helps them understand the content. Oh, yes. So now I'm on the last section of this badge. And this is where quite often you find that it pulls it all together for you to try out a really cool skill. So being world famous, our superhero has this impressive CV. He has a wicked CV on here. So what we want to do is we want to have a look at his awesome CV. But I think what he needs to do is make that CV a bit more interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick some, oh, I've logged out by accident. <laughs> now, this I'm, is a really I'm lovely moment where you log out and then you can't find where you are. I'm still here. Uh, are so, you still here? Yeah, yeah, I'm still there on it. So I'll let you, you, can, you can jump to me if you like for a second. Uh, well, Ian, actually, so we this is one of the highlight points that I'll point out. One of the really good things about an Ideas Award badge is if you get logged out or accidentally go anywhere, one of my favorite things is it saves exactly where you are. Oh, that, that's so <laughs> important, isn't it? The so moment. if yeah. you ever do that again, like I've just done, don't worry. You just go back to your badge and then 
there. It's still there. It saves as you go. So now I've got this. I'm onto my bad guys and I've got people saved. I'm going to add some animation to it. Right, so good. So I think I want to put superhero rank at the end because I want that to be like the main point. Yeah. And I think I, think I want the bad guys that he's got at the front. And then I think I probably want this plane here and the people saved there. So now I've got those three. Let's see how it looks. Oh, kind of cool. So now I've got that, I'm going to add some animation to this. So I think I want to zoom in on my superhero. And maybe the slide in on how fast he is. Nice, yeah. Makes Rotating sense. on my bad guys and bouncing on my people saved. Now, what do I know about frames? We did this earlier on. So was it a faster frame or a shorter frame? I think it was a faster. So I'm going to move that up and then press play and check it out. I have just animated my superhero CV beautifully. And now I'm going to have the little recap question. So where can we use animation? Film, TV, websites, video games, or all? I think we already had a little chat I about think that you already before, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've, uh, we've, we've been previously before this just speaking about how. And now, so as many you areas. can see, I can finish that badge, and now I'm going to complete that badge. So now I've stepped into the world of digital animation. Now this is it. Always gives you a little summary of the badge at the end, which is really nice. Um, so a bit now that can apply to the UX badge. Um, and how the animation can be used. Now, right at the end here, it says, for further reading, you can have a look at Disney's 12 principles of animation in the book Disney Animation for the Illusion of Life by Ollie Johnson and Frank Thomas. So it always gives you a little bit of a further step you can go down. Um, and then I get to this beautiful mark where, ba -da, I have completed my badge. Now, whenever I do this at Spark or I do it at, at uh, Liverpool Make Fest, a lot of people do that thing where they take a picture of their badge. So if you've got to this stage, take a picture of a badge, show us your badges. Um, oh, yeah, that, that, in fact, that, that's a great time there. So I can, I can use that as a plug for some of our social medias. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so yes, if you have just completed the animation badge or you've d done one of the other badges, uh, we'd always, we'd love to see it. So um, our, if you can send that to our social medias, we have, we are at um, Holton Make Fest on uh, Twitter, uh, we are Holton Makefest in, uh, on Facebook, and uh, we are Holton Makefest, I believe, on Instagram as well, at Holton Makefest, there you go. So nice and easy ones to remember. And as always, no matter what platform you put it on, if you use the hashtag HoltonMF21, we will pick that up. And again, Paul might be able to find any images that you send on. So yeah, send us in your pictures of badges and stuff like that as you've completed them. We want to see them. And always any questions or anything like that. A good point is it's fantastic if you're watching us live. Uh, you can send your questions in on the chat. If you're not watching us live, but you're watching this, you know, uh, in a day's time, a week's time, six months time, but you've still got questions, uh, Kaz is fantastic uh, at being able to answer questions. You are a teaching ambassador. Is that that's right? I am. I'm one of the teaching ambassadors for the ideas award so if you want if you're struggling with the badge you can go find me i'm on twitter at ka81 and if you need any help with the ideas badge remember the ideas awards themselves are there so you can go and find them they're on on twitter at ideas award or you can just put your ideas award badge up and just hashtag in halton make fest yeah mf 21 I yeah, yeah, there you go. and then you can ta you can put that in and you can let us know that you've been doing your badges so if you've got a badge take a photo of it make a fuss out of it it's really really good to get them and celebrate your achievements on the way up to getting your bronze because this is just the start of a very bigger award so if you kind of get to your badge and you're thinking right okay i've got the gist of this i've got 10 points mm. i can carry on with this now if you're going to click next, it'll tell you the amount of points that you need to go forward from that badge. So I've got my points, but you may only have just the 10 you did. So now you get to see what other badges. So you can go back to your home and it'll, you can have a look at all the other badges that you've got then. So we've got all these badges to go. So Citizen, absolutely stacks of badges in there. So we've got loads of badges. You can see the ones I've completed. 
and workers. We've got loads and loads of badges in there as well. So we've got user experience, as I was saying, is over here. So we've got lots of badges to achieve there. You know, what's in AI, um, loads of interesting ones. We've got maker badges here. So we've just done um, our animation one, but there's absolutely loads of other badges in there you can do from color to virtual reality, everything. Fantastic. And then we've got the entrepreneur one. Now, when you get to the stage where you're like, right, I've got a stack of badges that I've done and, and I've got to the point where I've got 250 mm. points, which takes a while, guys. Mm. So it's a really good one to do right now, you know, when you, you've got time indoors to just really crack on with your badges. Uh, that, that, then you can get an award. Yeah, that, this is a good point to point out as well. Like with, we know that the fantastic work that you've been doing at Spark Pencoffin with, with, the, with the students there, but Ideas Awards, not just for, for young people, it, it's, it's for anyone on, on, of any age. So if you're finding yourself and you've got a little bit more time at home at the moment yeah. and you're looking for something to, to do to increase your skills, to get yourself a qualification that's recognised, yeah. um, it doesn't matter if you're uh, in in high school or you're um, an OAP, anyone yeah. can, can do this, these uh, these uh, awards and, and get stuck in with it, can't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody, anybody can do the awards for ideas, and and not only that, but anybody can use those skills regardless of age to kind of mm. demonstrate their understanding of some of the newest digital technology. And I think right now we've really seen digital tech really become really crucial. So this is a really great way to kind of get into those. And you, once you've got your bronze, I mean, there's certain places you can go. You can go to achievement. If you tap into yours, you can go to achievement and we'll have a look at mine. So once you've started to get your badges, before you get to a reward, you can download a record of achievement. And if you do that, you can see mine here. Um, what it does is it lists all of the record of achievement of everything that you've done. You can see I did mine a while back ago. So you can see, you know, everything that's on there and what kind of skills that you've got and were from. So because of that, it kind of makes it really good to kind of list out all the skills that you've got. So it's, it's a really good thing to do. And I, I think you've got your award haven't you sean <laughs> yeah so I, i've got my awards but sean's got his definitely so uh, uh, he he can show you because it is an award <laughs> it's not just a, a a process or it's an award so what happens is, is you get a paper award if you go into certificate that you can get sent either to you if you put your address in um, or in your if you put in your school it'll go to your school and then you get an award so it's it's really I can't I've got a digital version of it here on my, that you can download yourself at any time, which is cool. Yeah. But the, I've got to admit the real cool thing was getting the certificate from Buckingham Palace. You know that, that says you know like yeah. really high quality certificate coming in the post. You know like yeah. saying like you've achieved this, absolutely brilliant and, and just you know for, completely free of charge. Yep. You know like you not you don't need to pay anything to do that. All you need to do is is dedicate enough time to get the bronze award. Now I did the bronze award myself uh, in evenings, so I you know I'd, I'd, I'd be working during the day and then in the evening I'd go oh do you know what I'm going to spend about half an hour do you know and, yeah. and just I picked the, the badges that I felt like uh, was I was most interested in so I'd go mm. through them and find them one of the nice things is you can even you could kind of go well do you know what I already know a little about this so I'm going to do this one or you could go do you know what I want to learn something completely different and, mm. and have a go at something that you know nothing about and so there's loads there to choose from isn't there yeah there's absolutely stacks I mean the, the great thing about this is the bronze is your first step mm. but then if you go into the ta tab at the top guys you can go to the silver so the silver up here is the next stage and that requires a bit more dedication so that's um, 450 points for a silver award so I got my silver not so long ago yeah. um, it took some real effort but the silver kind of consolidates all of the uh, mm. skills that you learn in the bronze yeah. but just takes them up a next level I'd, so they're yeah. really really cool I think I, I, I attempt I looked at the silver going and going, oh, I'll just do this in the same way I did the bronze. And when I opened it, I was like, do you know what? This is going to take some real dedication. So I don't have my silver yet. I'm hoping that doing this video, I might get an honorary silver for my ideas. Of <laughs> you if, might if, you, if you're watching, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to one coming through in the post if, uh, if that so, happens. Uh, uh, yeah, you can get kind of silver awards. And the, the silver awards themselves are really, really, really cool. So you can kind of go to silver after you've done the bronze. And, and they do have silver badges so you can go to the badge store and and the the different but I think the silver's quite intense so this isn't something you should do where you should think to yourself 
I'm going to do this all at once. Yeah. You really won't. Yeah. It, it took me about a year to get yeah. everything, but they're really good to really sharpen those digital skills. I, I and think anybody can do them. I think it makes the the, the, the silver is, is is a great step up, and I think it, it really validates it as 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 an award because. I've got to admit, I kind of went, I, I really enjoyed doing the bronze and I could kind of just do it with dipping in and out of it, you know, and learning new skills and stuff. And when I went to silver, I was like, I, I, I felt like it might be a little bit similar. And when I went to it, I was like, do you know what? No, I'm going to really have to dedicate some some time to this and, and think yeah. about it and plan it around. I can't just kind of do it on a whim. I'm going to need to, no. to, to, to sit down and think it, about it's, this. It's thought of as kind of the digital Duke of Edinburgh because of that. Yeah. You know, so when you get to kind of silver, if you're on mine, we'll look at citizen silver. You've got three stages then. You've got a foundation, an activation, a resolution. You've got to get three stages of each badge. So, you know, we'll look at the maker one because we were looking at that already and just have a brief nose at it. Just before we do that, I think we've got some questions through. Is that, is that right, Paul? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of comments uh, from people saying it's a great tool and fantastic. And, uh, glad, I'm glad everybody's brilliant. enjoying it. Yeah, so we've got uh, a few comments from teachers that we've worked with. Oh, fantastic. Uh, oh, yeah. All my fellow great. teachers, big yeah. love to you. <laughs> Everybody who's into teaching, you can do this at school. Yeah. Please do. <laughs> and the burning question um, is, uh, does your superhero have a name? <laughs> That's the burning question that everyone wants to know. My, does my superhero have a name? What would you name your superhero? Oh. Oh gosh, that's just, I'm so boring. Well, Captain Makefest. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Captain Makefest. <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah, no. Uh, um, I don't know. Some kind of beard growing skill. Yeah, Captain. Lot of this, gosh, that. Okay, well, let's throw that back out to them. You send us in your superhero names, and we'll read out some of the. We'll get Paul yeah. to judge the uh, the best ones. Mine were terrible then, so. If oh, you mine would be like Makefest Marvel, wouldn't it? Make you know, because let's face it, Captain Marvel is one of the most powerful, so I'll probably go down that route, but it's a really hard question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I want I genuinely want to hear your uh, your your uh, superhero name. So yeah, yeah, so if you've got a, a superhero name that you would like uh, to us to, uh, to to mention or to name our superhero after, get it in the comments and we'll, we'll, but we'll give it, we'll put that on Paul's shoulder to yeah, judge yeah. who's comes yeah, up with the best Yeah, if you can get one. a really awesome Makefest superhero name, you know, then uh, I'm pretty sure we can make it our Makefest ambassador. We'll find some way of making him an ambassador. We'll run with it. Give us the best superhero Makefest name you got. Fantastic. So um, we've got one more question. One more question, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and it is, are all the badges free? Is it free yes. to do them all? All of them are free. There is no charge for Ideas Award. There's no subscription. There's no payment. Um, Miss Keep or Caroline, myself, uh, is a great believer in open source. Um, the Ideas Award is entirely free, um, even down to sending the certificates out to you from Buckingham Palace themselves. So yeah. anybody can do it, anybody can access it, anybody can do all of the badges. There's, there's some terminology that might be a little bit confusing on it and things like that, because it kind of go, it goes to the badge store and you kind of go, whenever you see store on an app, you go, oh, this is them wanting me to buy something, this is them wanting yeah. me to do it, but no, as you say, Absolutely a brilliant free resource. Uh, great yeah. at schools, but great out of schools. Just before we jump uh, into the to the silver award, just wanted to chat about a little bit more about Spark Penka because I uh, know that you're you're a teacher there, and um, and, and that's fantastic. Uh, but I believe that. Spark Pamphlet was the first makerspace in a school, is that correct? Yes, yes, we have our, the first makerspace in a school in the UK. We have a digital programme. Our, our Ideas Award is a massive part of it. Um, we do our Ideas Award with all of our kids in year seven, eight and nine. So um, what we do is we, we do lots of digital skills with our young people. Um, it's been, we're in about our third, fourth year. Um, so it, it's been amazing to have a, a, a school makerspace that's accessible for all of our students and and the maker community obviously being the founder of makefest is is one of the the big parts of my life so i wanted as a teacher to be able to have a room in which kids could explore those digital skills uh, and really experiment with them and have an enriching opportunity so my school penketh high school I, i'm very very proud to be at is um, really outstanding in their enrichment offer Fantastic. so yeah, uh, we're very proud of Penkers itself. I, I'd really, I'm looking forward to being back in my makerspace with my kids. But at the moment, we've moved to a digital online version of our makerspace. 
That's cool. I, I saw the links go out to that, and yeah. there's, there's so many great links on it. I mean, I'm always looking out for stuff like that. Whenever I see anyone post out, go and take a look at this, how you can make things here, how you can do things there. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I, uh, I'd heard of before, and, and I've got it I, for my sins, I know I, I definitely should know more about it, but I've had a little play around with his kit Tinkercad, yes. which is uh, 3D designing oh, yeah. all, Tinkercad's all amazing. online. Yeah. So, you know, if, you, if you're interested, if you do one of the design badges on here and you're interested in 3D design, um, Tinkercad's an absolute favourite of mine. Um, we do a lot of 3D printing at our makerspace. Mm. So um, Tinkercad's how to use fr free 3D design software um, to design things for 3D printing. So you can go on there and you can design something and then you can get to grips with how you could use computer-aided design. Fantastic. And that's free as well, you can use it. And then if you want to start 3D printing, especially if you're a school or a teacher or you're a parent who's just trying to find somewhere to do 3D printing, then um, I think I gave everybody the link for the Create Education Project. Mm -hmm. So they are the project in the UK that, that helps schools and young people 3D print uh, and start with 3D printing. So you can go to them as well and mm -hmm. they'll help you figure out where the nearest 3D printer is that you could use or whether you could send files to somebody. So there's loads of stuff out there. On it, it's something I want to really get into. I'm just trying to convince Ian that we need to buy one. I'm trying to like, that's my, that's my quest at the moment. Any excuse to kind of get it in there. And well, uh, I'm going to use, you, I'm gonna use this as a shameless reason as well to put another, another little bit of pressure on him to make sure that we buy a 3D printer at some to point. To be honest though, <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a school or if you're a library, um, you can do the same as I said, Sean. You don't have to necessarily That's buy one. Right. You can go to the Create Education Project and they do loan out 3D printers. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell him this. I'll never get one. <laughs> but no, that, that, is, that is a great point. Yeah, if you've got, uh, you know, one of the favorite, favorite things about Makespace is gives people the chance to try out technology and, and learn yeah. new skills um, from libraries or Makespaces or, you know, things around there. So definitely worth, worth checking out. While we're talking about 3D printing, I believe that you're, you're currently uh, working on a 3D printed top. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I'm working on a 3D printed top and a 3D printed dress. I kind of started at the beginning of lockdown because we were because we were all in lockdown. It suddenly became kind of like I was so used to doing loads of physical hands on stuff and I've had to go very digital suddenly. Mm. And um, during how it's all been, I did uh, I, I have a fair amount of 3D printers at home. So I started to experiment with doing 3D printed and I thought I'm going to I'm going to do myself a 3D printed top and a dress for when I get to go back to a Makefest celebration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've, I'm halfway through it, it's kind of going well. That's I've started cool. to put lights underneath it, oh, wow. which is really nice. So it's like, I'll post up some pictures. Definitely. I do believe if Create Education are out there, they've probably got some already. Yeah. Um, but I've started to put lights underneath it and do it. But uh, to be honest, I'm kind of doing it a bit of a time like most projects. I think when you're a maker, one of the things I've learned really early as a maker is, um, you know, don't don't feel really bad if you don't do a project and mm. suddenly complete it. Mm. Um, it. What's a really good method is to do a project a little at a time, you know, and go, okay, I've got this project on back burner. Mm. I'm going to do a little bit of it now, and then I'll do some other things, and then I'll do a little bit more, and then I'll do some other things. I'm going to I'm going to cut up that very specific part of this stream and just play that to my wife, <laughs> like constantly going, these fine, these aren't finished yet. These, this is this is the perfectly normal part some of a creative process. Some projects do take yeah. a long time, yeah. you know, so. And for example, Spark Makerspace, uh, uh, you know, our, our school makerspace, the project itself really came to mind before I was in mm. teaching, but the actual physical building of the whole thing came together, you know, uh, literally about four years in. Mm. So it, sometimes it takes a long time for all the pieces to come together for yeah. a project or for you to really, you know, work it out, which is kind of why I like ideas because it's like little mini projects. Mm. So it's nice and achievable little steps on the way up. But sometimes if you're building something really big, yeah. um, you know, like, oh, I want to build this whole 3D printed dress <laughs> that lights. You, sometimes you can just space mm. that over time and it takes some time. Something that I've um, seen on your social media, which I think is really important as well, is, is that... Um, that acceptance of that you don't need to be on all the time. You oh, do no. need to take well. It's and it can be it can be daunting, can't it? When you're on a lot of social medias and a lot of things like that, and you can see so many people doing creative, fun, um, or you know, like just really ambitious and big projects. And it's it's you can sometimes be looking at other people's stuff and kind of going, yeah. why aren't I doing that? Why haven't I got this project? And they're going. Sometimes you just need to make sure that you're giving that time mm. to yourself to go. Do you know what? Actually, today I need to have a day off from from doing this and looking at a screen. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a day where I, you know I relax yeah. and I do the things that I enjoy. But then you 
of going back to it and, and yeah. bring, you know, doing it at your own time. It's important. I think that's, um, that's probably an important one as a maker to cover. You always have this moment where you've got loads of, you can see all these amazing projects online mm. and everybody's doing amazing projects and they're all brilliant and all complete. And you can have a bit of like maker anxiety about mm. it. Like, am I doing enough cool projects? Um, and I get asked this a lot with our kids projects and I very rarely say what my favorite is because really it's the process that mm -hmm. counts. And, and to be honest, what you want to do is, is have that space for yourself not to be on all the time. Mm. It's perfectly fine to do a bit of a project and then go watch Netflix for an hour. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> you know, or not do anything for a good while and then decide to do something. Yeah. You know, this is probably the first year that I've started to do a bit more making for myself. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when I look back and, and people go, oh, what kind of projects have you made? And I kind of go, well, I've done a lot of teaching projects. Mm. You know, I've, I've made the first, we've done the first makerspace in a school of the country mm. and the first make fest in the country. I, can, I think I'm kind of good for projects. <laughs> so, so I kind of like take my time over things. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's good to just take your time with the project. Mm and just enjoy the process of building it. Yeah. You know, I'm really enjoying the process of building this dress. And I know everybody who, who's heard me speak about it has gone, oh, it'd be really nice if you built it, but you know, can we see it? Yeah. And I'm kind of like, no, I'm just gonna take my time about it and then get it right. And then when I feel like I'm ready, then that's good. Yeah. Making is very much, as much for you as a person mm -hmm. as it is for the thing that you're creating. So, you know, you wanna make sure that you, you really enjoy the process of making. Definitely. Because there's always a process. There's the start of a project where you're like, oh my God, I'm really super enthusiastic. There's the middle of the project where it's like, oh my God, I'm never gonna finish this, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the end of the project where you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. But the middle section's always the hard bit yeah. where you're like, I have not quite got it right yeah. and, and I've struggled, but that's the section where all the learning is. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, but it's worth it, so. I was gonna just say, and you know, as, as lovely as it would be for absolutely every project you, that you do to finish and be amazing and be the best thing that's ever come out, sometimes you get to the end of a project and you go, oh, do you know what, that, that didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, <laughs> but you'll be in a much better place when you go to do the next thing because you'll know what worked and what didn't work. And do you know what, actually, do you know, next time I do that, I'm not gonna use this process. I'm gonna go and have a go at using that. Or I might speak to someone else that's done it before or, or do you know, get advice around doing it and stuff. And so kind of like, encouraging that safe place to fail in yeah. in, in making is, is you know is a is a cool is a, a nice thing as well like that community of people wanting to help each other and you know if you see someone's thing that doesn't work or or could work better you know letting yeah. them know how things could do and stuff but it's a really nice uh, community out there of, of people yeah, that all want to help each other out there's loads of makers out there that are always willing to help so you can you can literally you know you can go on any media and hashtag make a help and somebody will be out there to help you i think in all honesty when you're doing projects it's you know there's no such thing as a, a rubbish project no there's there's just projects that have you know started or finished or in between mm. you know and to be honest everybody everybody who's in this room who had been making for uh, feels like a very long time at one point started making you know i i remember back in like, I don't know, I think it was like 2009, maybe 2008, getting like my first Arduino and being like, oh my God, this is amazing, I can build things. So everybody started right at the beginning. There's no such thing as kind of, you know, a really accomplished maker. Yesterday we had uh, Natalie McCool on, who's, who's a local local musician, and one of the questions for her was, how did you make this your job? How did you end up going out there to do it? And she was just like, I just did it. I just went, you know, I just, I just went out there and I did it, you know, and I learned and I went, and, you know, and th that seems to be the, the kind of common theme within, within making, just give it a go. Do you know what I mean? Like try it out, get, you know, get, get hands on. It doesn't always have to be perfect the first time around, but you will learn as you're going through it, but getting stuck in and just giving stuff a go is, is the kind of like, I think one of the key messages. I, I think, um, I always say 99% of it is turning up. Yeah. You know, so 99% of it's turning up. And I, I found this, I said to you as we were starting, you know, I, I've been doing a, a, a machine learning, a data applied masters this year. So I've been teaching and learning and making. Um, and, and I've found it tricky in places, mm -hmm. but it's like 99% of success is turning up. So it's like, let's turn up, let's give it a go. Let's try it. You might not get it right the first time, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the next time won't be better and the next time won't be better and the next time won't be better. And I found it really, I found myself giving myself my own advice from students. Mm. Like I'd say things to my students like, yeah, but you know, learning is hard. 
that's okay. You know, we've just got to, you know, go through it. You can do this. And I found myself going, oh yeah, guys, learning is hard. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> it's, so, it's so much easier giving advice than taking your own advice. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And especially when you're trying to learn online and teach online. So it's been interesting. But when you kind of commit to that process that it's, it's all a big learning curve and it's just a foot at a time on, mm. on the, the journey upwards, then you can kind of do much better with it it doesn't become like oh i'm not getting this no. or it's just taking too long because you know things like the ideas award when you get to this silver you'll get frustrated mm. you know what i mean because how i found it you, you've you have challenging tasks mm. and that's the true learning there mm. so if you find it where you're going oh god that's quite tricky then you're really learning something so just taking your time with that process is the important thing and not feeling that you have to do everything all at once that's a great segue. So let, let's jump back in and take a look at the uh, at one, of look the at the one of the silver, silver awards. Yeah. So I figured we'd have a, a quick peek into silver, not necessarily the whole way, because silver's so intense. Yeah. So on the silver, I'm going to have a look at the maker. So you can go into the foundation maker. Um, so this explores some of the skills that we used in the maker worlds before. Now you can see these. These badges are way higher points. So this is 20, bad, 20 points for the first foundation. Um, and if you click on it, you can start to see it as it goes. So, so you get like a, an adventure game. So if you see here, we've got little different areas that I already started to go into. So this is maker equipment, photo editing, pitch, digital art. So you can kind of go to a skill point. So we'll go in our light speed to this one and let's take a look at it which one have we jumped into the cas i've gone into i'll go back a bit i've gone into uh, a skill point that was pixels pixels oh pixel artist yeah i can see yeah. that one yeah i'll jump in that one as well so i'm at the same place so i've gone into pixel art skill point here is available for me so we're coming out of light speed towards our new planet. Let's take a look. Look, it's like got a pixely art one there. We and then we're on my planet. Are you on my planet? Yeah, I'm on a planet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, so I'm this is stage. where, and I, I won't necessarily go and do this entire badge, because yeah. this is where you start to get a feel for how these badges, when they get to the silver, require a bit more effort. So we're opening the Maker Wiki. So pixel world. Pixels of the world have almost vanished thanks to invasion. I'm the last pixel monster. I'm writing this log as an instruction. In the archive, you'll find descriptions of each species of a creature that lived in it. You'll need to draw them back into existence. OK, so then I'm going to go into my laptop and you can start to get to the stage nice. where you start looking at pixel art and how to do pixel art and how to master it and put it together. So these are kind of the first ones where you start to do it. So this is like a bit on bitmaps, which are really crucially important when you do animation. So what's the difference between a bitmap which means scaled or enlarged or a vector which is in scaled? So I'm just going to stop there because you can see that these are the kind of skills mm. that you are going to learn throughout your foundation badge in your um, bronze award mm. and then truly apply them here. So if you've not got your bronze, do your bronze first and then go on to your silver. Yeah. But as you can see, the silver is quite intensive. So it's going to take all of those skills that you use in the bronze and, and really challenge you on them. Um, so make sure, I'm going to stop there with this one, make sure that you've got it before you step. So that's kind of how it looks. But what you do get with it is you get each one of them has a foundation activation and a resolution. So with that, you end up with all those badges. So if you think about that, that's three stages in each badge, including the gamer. Fantastic. So it's quite intense, this particular one. Mm. So that's how that one looks briefly. But for those of you who are just uh, first starting, you want to stick on that bronze until you've got 250 points. That's great advice. Uh, and speaking about bronze, we have, as, as promised earlier, we've got a, a badge for you for taking part in today's session. So uh, free points. So we've already yes. got 10 points if you've done the animation one along with us and we'll get some more free points 
or uh, well, some some free points. You, you worked for the animation one if you've done so that one. So we can redeem yeah. them, can't we? Yeah, we can redeem them. So um, we have a very special badge which is specifically for anyone that's watching this stream, part of Halt and Make Fest. Uh, and so yeah, we can redeem uh, our badges. So do you want to talk about how we go about redeeming them? Yeah. So what you want to do for the redeeming is if you're back on your main page ideas award. Do you want to head to the point that says redeem? Okay, so this point here says redeem right at the very top. And then if you click redeem itself, then it says redeem a badge code. Now there's only certain places you can redeem badges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's very, f there's a few places out there that have their own badges. Mm. Um, Liverpool Makefest has its own badge. So when we get to Makefest later in the year, our Liverpool one will let you know, but Holton's got its own Makefest badge. Yes. So I can redeem our Makefest badge here. So if you're in the redeem section, uh, I know you've got the secret secret code, Sean, yes. so what have you got? I think that I'm, I'm going to use the, the use uh, Ian's digital wizardry. I think we're going to pop it on screen for you now. So the uh, the code for redeeming this uh, badge is Holton MF21 wow. and then an exclamation mark. So there it is on screen there. Holton? I, yeah, I believe it's all capitals. I'm not sure if uh, if it has to be, but that was what how it was sent to me. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna not mess around with it. MF and two one. And I'm really hoping it works because we've not tested it beforehand. Oh, so. of course it does. <laughs> so if you have a look at Ooh. mine, mine's there. I have I have just completed my Holton Make Fest badge. Well done. Thank you for the points, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's what you'll get. You'll get our own Holton Make Fest badge here. So if you you've got your badge, everybody got pictures of me badge. I'm really proud of this badge. <laughs> hey, I've got it. It's just come up on mine. I'm, right, I'm, I'm and there. then you can see then you've got the points associated. So we've got one category complete and we've got a point for it. So I, I go up a point for my Make Fest badge there. Fantastic. And then I can go home and I've gone up a point. I've got to 298. Now that <laughs> seems quite extensive. I'm sure Sean's is a little lower than mine. Yeah, but I, just remember, it's not about it's about slowly over time mm. getting your points and and just because i've got to um to 254 now with my extra points so i've just i've just scraped into my into my bronze um, when i when i got it but um just because i've got the bronze award doesn't mean that i might not go back into one of these categories and just get you know do the do the learning for the learning sake because there's all sorts of interesting ones in there from yeah. internet safety to um to oh, creating ones animation ones some of my coding favorite ones. badges are actually you can see from my points uh, are in the in the citizens award i really love the citizen award badges and i love them because they're really really good for just really uh, important skills mm. so citizens one's got some really great ones in there if we have a look in our, our bronze again if you go into things like you know e-commerce or gpdr you know things that you wouldn't necessarily think oh, i understand that i've heard it but do i understand it mm. um you know e-safety it's got loads and loads and loads of badges in there that are really important things in the world that we are now mm. so i think i'd i'd, I'd, I'd started this one the safe online one and they're just really, really important badges. So this one's just about how to say safe online, um, which really now we should really, you know, get to grips with. So these are really good ones to, as you can see, it goes through how to identify an email or how to understand if something's appropriate or, or not. So, you know, is this an email from us, you know, never click on a link in an email unless you're absolutely sure if it's from. Yeah. These are really important skills, and especially if you, you're a parent, you've got kids at home online a lot now, really get them to do the citizen badges, mm. you know, because they're really essential skills that they could use um, right now that are really good for them. Um, you know, I love all the other badges, but citizen's got a special place in my heart there. Fantastic. Well, uh, just before we, we're getting towards the end of our stream now, but just before we go, we'll uh, we'll pop back over to Paul and see if we got any questions or if we got any uh, any superhero names coming. Have through. we got any superhero names in? Um, <laughs> not from uh, anyone commenting, uh, but I put I come up with some. Oh, you go oh, go on. It's my it's my jam comic book, so I came up with two. Uh, I put it in the chat. Oh, someone's Dan. Ah, Dan Lynch has liked oh, it. Dan Lynch from our own Makefest. Yeah, Thank you very much. Uh, my two options were uh, 
um, Captain Makefest. Oh, I yeah. think maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But then, as a true superhero, you've got to go for alliteration. You've got Go to on. use the letters. So uh, I went for the marvellous Makefest Maker. Using oh, all M's. I quite like that, yeah. guys. Um, we need to get like a little mascot of that. <laughs> um, I think that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, but Dan Lynch came up with Captain Creator, maybe. Using Captain Creator, yeah. yeah. alliteration, yeah. 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 I, I kind of like the M's. Yeah. Marvelous might have it for us. Yeah. But if I, anybody has any suggestions, please let us know. Yeah. You know, um, over at Holton, we'll yeah. adopt a mascot. <laughs> It'd be great. Maybe. Uh, we've got some comments saying uh, thanks for the free badges, free points, and stuff like that. And this has been fantastic fantastic so uh, uh, for everybody who's out there right now I just want to say if you've got kids who are doing these badges this is you know and if you parents or, or young people right now uh, this is a great one you, you, you right now is the best time to do your badges for your bronze um, you've got loads and loads in there it's really cool to do they're very fun they're really challenging and also you can kind of get through this time just doing a little badge at a time it's, it's really really good to do them right now uh, and you if you're a parent, these are brilliant for your kids. You know, if you've, the, it's quite an extended project, mm. this one. So it's not like a, we'll do this little bit and that'll be it. The Ideas Award is the kind of thing that can keep your kids occupied and, and, and learning for, for a good, good while. Fantastic. So, you know, they're, they're an extended kind of task from a teacher. Brilliant. <laughs> Great. Well, um, just to say then, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. It's been absolutely brilliant uh, to get to go through Ideas War, for me to revisit, look at some of the new badges. I'm going to have to get stuck in and get my silver done. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of you will be thinking about or wondering what's going to be going on with, with Liverpool Makefest. I know that it's still a little bit up in the air at the moment, isn't it, with well, everything that's we, going on? we kind on. of, Makefest in Liverpool, we, we, we've booked our building and mm. we've committed to a date. Uh, whether that will be online or in person, mm. you know, we're, we're as usual committed to, to, to making sure that our the big babe the big baby of Liverpool make fest runs um, but as I said I was so thrilled to see mm. to see Holton change it to online it's been incredible to see so you've done an incredible job of it so thank you so much for having me no problem brilliant well as I say thanks everyone for for tuning in and doing the ideas award along with us um, as we were saying if you've got any other questions feel free to put get us on social medias or through the comment section we'll always keep reviewing them and we'll get back to you uh, as quick as we can using that hashtag Holton MF21 we'd love to see any pictures of badges and things like that that you've got uh, and we'll be sure to uh, to reply and get them retweets and stuff like that but yeah thanks everyone very much for tuning in thanks to our guest Caroline for giving us such an amazing thank you guys uh, I'll be looking forward demonstration. looking forward to seeing all those badges so <laughs> yeah yeah send me send us at Holton Makefest um MF21, hashtag it for us. Show me your badges. Give us the pictures of those badges coming out. I'd love to see them. Brilliant. Thanks everyone again so much for tuning in. And we are back at 3 p.m. today uh, with our creative writing workshop. So be sure to tune in for that. And yeah, we'll see you all again soon. Take care. Have a nice rest of your day.